Today we're going to have a look at why Ben Hogan had an extra spike in his right shoe. So if you haven't heard about Hogan's extra spike in his right shoe, what was it actually for and how can we apply it to our game okay so he had the only had the shoe in the spike in the right foot now the main reason is that in that backswing this foot is trying to rotate against the floor so he was rotating it which would then mean he could put so much torque through the foot downwards and outwards without losing weight over the outside of the foot okay so what we see is as that rotates in it means the weight can move into the right heel we know that hogan didn't have a hip sway his hip would turn very deep in this direction. Weight's now very much through the inside of my right foot. And I feel a lot of pressure and tension in my legs. Now from here, what it means is if I separate in the transition, I've now fully got the squat on both legs and then I can close the gap. But if it, he had a very aggressive movement of the right foot, okay? Whereas if, so if he couldn't coil into the floor, then that would mean that without the spike, he might get a bit of a slip, okay? So what you'd see is the sole plate to the shoe was very, very key to how aggressively he used the ground to create the power and the rotation of his hips, okay? So the key is how can you have a look at what that, right, that extra spike is going to do? Now, maybe when you're playing golf on the grass, okay, it doesn't mean for the driving range because it's a bit different because mats don't have the same traction as the grass. Playing on the difference between a really soft spike shoe which has got like the dimples versus one that's got spikes could be the number one thing to start all of it because that's, you know, the dimples, how are you going to, you're not going to be able to create the tension in the floor because they get clogged up pretty quickly. So the chances are that your feet are going to move around a little bit more. Okay, so there's number one thing, maybe having a little look at that footwear. footwear. But the other bit is, what you want to do is make sure at address that the right knee is slightly kicked inwards, very, very slightly. So the femur is at 90 degrees to the floor here. That displaces a bit of weight on the inside of that foot. Then what we're going to try and do is get that weight moving into that right heel, as Hogan did. So as you turn back here, okay, you get into this halfway position, the hip's there. And now from here, the hip will turn deep and create a window of space, of daylight between where the hip is now and where it is at the top. What this does is, this gives us the room to let the arms come down into on the way down. So what we'd see is from the back here, we know that the tailbone moves towards the target, which creates the space here. But without the correct movement across the foot, you can't get that effect of almost shearing the weight back, okay? So it's really, really key that that happens, okay? If you aren't using the ground, you aren't turning the hips properly, and you're definitely not gonna be creating the power you really want to in your swing. And it's gonna then be essential then that that movement is gonna make it very difficult to get back over your left side and essentially rotate really, really hard, which was a key thing that Hogan spoke about was having massive amounts of rotation through the golf ball. So if you are losing foot pressure in the backswing because it's going over or it's slipping, then the chances are, if you imagine if that foot has slipped in the backswing here, because the foot isn't, it's not obviously going to move as much as this, but it's gone into this position, you're now going to be miles stuck underneath it. So you're probably going to have to use your shoulders, okay? So it's just one example there of how that footwork movement, if you aren't using the ground properly, is going to have a massive negative impact on your golf swing. So take away from this, Obviously, on the grass, right footwork's good, footwear's going to be essential. After that, it's going to be a case of really trying to feel that weight staying on the inside of that foot. It's never going on the outside. That extra spike from Hogan meant that he didn't really have to try and pressure it in as much kind of in this direction. He could turn aggressively and let that spike do the work that it needed to allow him to make that aggressive turn of the hips. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Thanks for watching and talk with you again very soon.